Alright, well, this is going to be a tutorial on Camtasia Studio 8. Um, this is what I use to do my YouTube videos. Um, as you can see, this is the screen you'll get uh, when you first load up. Now, the very first time you load up, uh, it'll load up a tutorial. I suggest you read or watch it. It uh, will tell you some of the stuff I tell you, but uh, they, they talk better than I do. Anyways, uh, just a quick little overview right now. Uh, you're in the clip bin, so in here you usually you could record the screen, which I'm doing now. You could produce your video if it's there, but right now I want to pretend to Let's see, okay, this is my last video I put up. Let's just pretend to make that video. So there that video is. Okay, I don't really care about my computer's performance. So, now, I have this video in my clip bin, if I want to add it. There. Select your size, I usually just go with whatever it has and then bang, you can play the video What's that? and you know you can do whatever you want there from the video now you can cut sections out of the video you can add split points copy, paste undo, redo this zooms in and out which is handy if your videos are long or, you know, not the easiest to see where you want to cut out from. But, uh, anyways, let's say I wanted to cut out, here, I'll move my thing over here. That moves it to wherever you want it to play from. But let's say I wanted to cut out this dead clip here. So, I could select all of that, hit the cut button, bang, it's gone. I also can do a small clip like so, and it'll, you know, I can cut that or copy it and paste it. And, you know, you can also, if you wanted to, if you want to copy and paste this, say you probably want I think you want to add a split right there first then oh, I don't know if that worked you want to click that make sure that it's this one or the, you know you have, you're selecting the right thing because I sometimes screw up and select the wrong thing which I just did there but you select the proper one hit copy let's say you wanted to add it over top you could actually let me zoom back out a little. But you could add it. Where's my other tracks? Oh, there. I have to add them. Sorry. But then I can just paste it there, or I could could use the icon. But you can also right click to do these con those things. It's not too hard, uh, but that gives you your basic video. You know, you can cut pet sections out, blah, blah, blah. Now, let's say this section, I want to go faster. Well, go up here to edit, and then you go to clip speed. Now, I want to slow, slow it down, let's say. And then I go down and down. The slower, and sl you know, the slower the percentage, the slower it goes. Going up, you can speed it up, make it fast, and faster and faster and faster. Now, of course, you make it slower, it makes it longer, so you got to make room for it. So, like, if you were gonna make, just cancel that for now. Let's say you're gonna slow it down, you'd have to move it over first, and then you go back up clip speed and you change your speed if that's what you want to do now that's just your basic video setup you know structure of your video now from there uh, is just uh, 
there's a whole whack of stuff that comes with this. Uh, little musics and stuff like that um, that you can add to your videos. Now, I don't really use this library. I've never really looked into it that much. Um, but you can if you're interested in that kind of thing. I usually find my own stuff if I can. Uh, but yeah, let's say you want to add text. Well, with this, it's called the callouts, which is right here. Uh, and you click add callout. Now, right now, that's the pointy arrow. That's not what I want. I want this. Now, there's different things. There's just straight text, highlighted text, or highlighter text. So you can highlight text, put the spotlight on stuff. But usually, what I do is this. Then you can just, you know, set the crap for your font. Nobody really cares about that, but you know, then you just do your typing. I find that with most videos, white is actually the better color to go because you can actually see white over everything. So, yeah, that's how you add text. Um, so, yeah, you can just pop those in wherever, and then let's say you want to have text there for a while, you just that's it there, you just stretch it out to however long you want it. You know, you can make it all the way through, or you can make it just for a short amount of time. Again, you don't like it, just delete it. Bang, on. Um, there is other things here. I don't really use them again. I mean, feel free if you're interested in that kind of thing. Now, if you want to zoom in, well, let's say... Oh, I think this would be cool. I want this. So if you want to zoom into a certain section, like let's say I want to look up in the sky there. I go up here. And I can go bang. Zoom into that section. Get as close as I want. Keep going if I wish. Zoom in more and more. You know, with the with your numbers there, and I get that's this here. Double click to edit it. You can play with all kinds of different things. Like here, you can turn it up even more or down, and you can add funky effects. I don't really do that kind of thing. You get a little bit uh, into it there. You don't want to have it zoomed in all the way like that. So, you just bring it back to your original video size here, zoom it back out to your video, leave that clicked, and then there you go. So then, you go back, well, I went back too far, go back, uh, how you can zoom into stuff. Again, it's not really that hard. It, you can remember what you're doing. <laughs> Just, you know, you shrink your stuff to there, you know, shrink to where whatever you want to zoom in on and, you know, put it wherever you want. You can also move these so you can make it long, a long zoom or a short zoom if you want. You can hide it too, of course. Now, with your other tracks, you can actually grab other things and put them on your other tracks and you can actually keep going and keep adding tracks and adding tracks and adding tracks like if this was a song I could put it up here on track 3 have this video here more video clips in here though you don't want two video clips at the same time because that just doesn't work but uh, you know, you can put in as much stuff, you know, you can overlay music if you want and everything, and then also put your, uh, your callouts also go, I think they actually go to the state of the track. Maybe, no, they actually, they go, let me see, I'll just add them. So yeah, they go to the next track. So, you know, you have one for your callouts and then one for your music or whatever, and you can have one for effects or whatever, right? Now, audio. Uh, you have to select some audio, so I select some audio. Usually what I do, I'll turn it up to high volume variation, naval volume leveling. I don't do noise removal because it fucks the music up, or fucks sound up a bit. 
but you can keep turning it up. I don't care. But keep turning it up if your video is really quiet or down. And of course, you can fade in, fade out stuff, or mute stuff if you want. You know, just standard, fairly easy. Just the views there. The visual properties, that was just for, you know, your playing around with uh, your aspect ratio. Now, you got your transitions. So, let's say back here, you know, I have this clip there and that clip there. Between them, I want it to, you know, I don't want it to just go clicking from one to the other. So, there's all these different ones that come with it, you know. I like to, tend to like these type of ones, you know. But just grab that, drag it. right sorry so you add it right at the end of your video there so between the two clips here wow, it's gross. Good thing of beat. and it does the dissolve now with my computer is my thing keeps telling me my performance is slow so it does kind of skip with me if you have a better computer it probably will run better but the video comes out fine every time. Um, okay, so those are the main things. Uh, there are cursor effects. I well, we saw the visual properties, voice narration. Uh, I don't really know. I guess that you could do the voice, um, but uh, you could do the video or voice narration. I'm not doing it now. I'm just recording the screen. Um, but, you know, that is an option, uh, record camera, I think that's your webcam, uh, I don't use my webcam, it's not even set up, you can add captions if you want, uh, again, myself, I just use the callouts for that, and the quizzing, uh, well, I'm not a teacher or anything, so I don't need to make quizzes on my videos, um, here you can start new project, of course, your usual file menu stuff, saving, producing, oh yes, I forgot to go into producing, so let's say you have your video, look at this, bang, you can share it to YouTube, uh, it'll usually say that, it uh, quizzes hotspots and certain kind of markers, they won't be the kind of things you want in your videos anyways for YouTube, so it doesn't matter. That's all good. You hit OK. You can all your information is there, uh, so you can sign in. It does everything for you. You just type in your stuff. It uploads everything to YouTube for you, and uh, away you go. So uh, you know you do. There are a few other things in here that I really don't understand, so I won't try to get into those. But anyways, I hope this is. Uh, somewhat uh, educational for some people, uh, especially in reach. Um, I think I need a new computer here, so uh, I'm going to shut this off and uh, enjoy making your videos.